I got the Jamaican, the don't dada. Feeling like I fell in love with a Rasta. Something, 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 cha cha. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all the words, but that's my song. Suki, I need more music like that, okay? I need more music like that. That was a bop. Anyway, what's good, Jutta? It's your boy Jahab Book back again with another video. And you know, you already knew that because if you didn't know that, you wouldn't be here. But you're here, so you know that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this YouTube video. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share if you care. Now I got YouTube stuff. And yeah. Okay. So, y'all, today is just a quick little. I don't want to say rant, but I guess rant video. This is this is just something that I was thinking about. I'm currently at an open house. If you couldn't tell, I'm wearing my realtor thing. It says my my name tag. This is Jason Booker, realtor, Coldwell banker. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but I'm at an open house. Um, I'm not getting anybody here today. Today is a slow one. For the past couple weeks, I've been getting a lot of traffic, but this one is a slow one. I haven't gotten anybody today, and I only have about 20 more minutes before it's over. And I don't think anybody's coming. So I was like, I'm just going to go sit out in my car really quick and record a YouTube video since I'm just sitting here not doing anything. I've already posted the house video on Instagram. So I've done everything I need to do for the house as far as promoting it. So I'm just sitting in the house. I'm like, well, if I'm just sitting here, I may as well use this little 20 minutes to, you know, go record a YouTube video. But um, this is just something that I was thinking about that was on my mind, like, uh, today that I kind of wanted to speak about because... I don't know. It just, it just, this just dropped into my heart, I guess. It just spoke to me. But, um, how do I want to like start this? I don't even know what to call it. Uh, hmm. Okay. I guess we can talk, call this like me working on being more grateful. Let's call this video, I don't know, be grateful or show gratitude. I don't know, something. Um, something I realized, I wouldn't consider myself ungrateful by any means necessary, but something I kind of realized today, I complain a lot, which granted, I feel like sometimes what I'm complaining about, I have reason to, but still in the grand scheme of things, there's so much like other po worse positions that I could be in in life that if you like that, like when I really think about it, I'm like, dang, do I really have room to complain? Like, okay. Yes. In my world. Yes. I have there's a reason for me to complain. But in the real world, in the grand scheme of things, am I really like, do I really have anything to complain about? I'm breathing. I'm alive. I have food in my stomach. You know, I can go take a shower at any given point in time. I can go lay my head on my soft bed. I can get on my iPhone. You know what I'm saying? I can do a lot of stuff that other people in the world can't, you know, like it's just as far as like, you know, the whole, um, uh, you know, gaza and palestine and sudan and the congo all just and not even just i'm not even just talking about those specific situations i'm just talking about everything wrong in the world now just in general just every bad thing all the bs and chaos that's going on in the world right now i could be in so and you know a, such more of a worse position like i could be out in one of these countries that are warring getting bombed you know what I'm saying? i could be in one of these positions but i'm not you know and i was like do i like I really don't have anything to complain about. Like, I need to stop that because it's like, I don't know. I just feel like I, lately I've been complaining a lot. Like, especially, especially, especially when you see other people who don't appear to be living their life, you know, right or like as godly as you. And yet they're still getting like everything, you know, it, it that sucks too. Like when you see, not saying that um, I'm a jealous person at all, but it's just, you know, sometimes it's like, you be feeling like god why are you blessing this person this person is literally an evil person yet they have millions and millions of dollars yeah i'm sitting here struggling and I'm, I'm i have a great heart i treat everybody right why you know i'm not even trying to get a million i just want to have enough to to buy what i need you know what i'm saying so it's like dang like it, you'd be feeling like that sometimes like it's that it really is a real feeling shout out to pastor ethel for where i got that little note from um this is a prophet who i talked about in a previous video but i was like i didn't want to say the name of it because i didn't i don't be liking to say people's names sometimes But in this case, I'm, I feel like I should say her name just to let you all know where I where I kind of got a little bit of inspiration for this video from as well. 
uh, she and my friend Malachi pretty much inspired this video. So yeah, I would like to just give a shout out to Pastor Ethel as well. So yeah. <laughs> Like, like, why me, God, or why not me, God, or why hasn't this happened for me yet? It's like just a lot, and I need to like chill out because I feel like it's starting to like pick away at my heart. Like, I feel like it's turning my heart bad. Like, one thing I always try to keep is a good heart. Like, I always want to keep my heart in good thing. I don't ever want to walk around with like a bad attitude or like a hateful, cold heart. You know, one thing I always try to keep is my heart right. That's like my biggest goal in life is to always keep my heart right like like I don't I don't know I just don't ever want to lose my soul or humanity or my personality you know what makes me me my my good boy essence because I'm too busy complaining about something and quick like let me let me like let me let me I guess talk about what even brought this up for me like what what made me bring up this topic what why was this on my mind so I have this friend that I've been following on Instagram for a while He's followed me first and then I followed him back. And like, I think he found me from YouTube. That's how he originally found me. Um, my, his name is Malachi. Shout out to Malachi. I'm gonna put all his Instagram in here. Please go follow, you know, go follow my friend. Go follow that king because he's a king. Um, but yeah, basically my friend Malachi um, is what is what inspired this video. So yeah, love you Malachi. But anyway, so a couple, I would say a while ago, it was like well over a year ago at this point is when we met, is when he, I guess, found me on YouTube and then followed me on Instagram. And then like, you know, we became Instagram buddies. We've never actually met in person, but we've, you know, we chat on Instagram all the time. And, uh, you know, we, we've gotten to know each other for like a while. But no matter what, like, like, okay. I always see him in a good mood on his like YouTube, Insta, like in his YouTube videos, Instagram reels, every time you see him on social media, no matter what, he is always in a good, positive mood. You know what I'm saying? He he always like is trying to uplift people. And I, you know, recently found out that it was like a couple months ago that he uh suffers fr like he's suffering from kidney failure, and that is just like to me, that's just like. Like, he's really a true, like, champion to still be able to, like, you know, get up and do work his, for lack of a better term, work his ass off every day. He literally gets up and still has a smile on his face, still does what he needs to do to, like, better his life. And he's, you know, dealing with, you know, that. And that is just like, I don't know, that just hit me today because I, I was just on Instagram and I just saw... I, I was just scrolling and I saw like a video he had posted recently of him in I guess uh, I guess it's called dialysis if you have kidney failure I don't I don't know please don't quote me on none of this stuff I'm not trying to be funny I don't know all the politically correct or medical terms but basically you know whenever you have kidney failure you have to like get hooked up to the stuff and everything so he was sitting on the machine but in a good mood you know still still spreading love light positivity it's like and i just really like sat down and th thought to myself i was like dang like you really should be ashamed of yourself <laughs> like like you really complain about a lot and you know at least you have your health you know you know you might not got what you want material wise but you have your health you get to go get up and go to the gym every day and work out and you know get your little six pack and all that stuff. you know you have literally you have the means to, to just be able to do so. You know, not everybody can even just do. You know, like, you get, if you get what I'm saying, like, just the fact that you're able to just do is a blessing in and of itself. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I'm able to just be able is a blessing, if you get what I'm saying. So, like, that's, like, that really kind of humbled me. I was like, dang, I'm over here complaining about this, this, and that, and that. And, yeah, it might be stressed and frustrating or stressful and frustrating, you know, that you might not necessarily have your finances right or can't necessarily pay a particular bill on time it's just a whole bunch of stuff but like if you really think about it you really don't have nothing to complain about because it's like like aside from that my life's really not bad like i really thought about it like you get fed every day multiple times a day because you eat too dang much uh you know you can go to the gym you, you're in good health you can breathe and move and think on your own without the assistance you know you can clean yourself 
use the bathroom by yourself. It's just like a lot of stuff that kind of like gets overlooked. And I, and I was just like, I don't know. I just think about that. I was like, dang, I really need to like try to just be more grateful more. Cause like, I really like, I'm not gonna lie. Lately I've been acting a little ungrateful. Like that's, I guess that's the only thing I can say. Like it hurts. So that must be the truth. The truth always hurts. So that, that must be the truth. Cause I, it hurts my, that hurt my heart a little bit just to hear that. So I don't know. Like, I just want to say Malachi, keep inspiring people like me. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep, being a shining light to the world king and <laughs> and i just want to say like just just keep going king just know you got my prayers over here i'm praying for you i'm sending love and peace and light and positivity and all that as always and i and once i like found out this is this is a side note by the way me and him talked about this but um because for the longest i didn't know he was dealing with that for like a while like literally for like the first I would say year of our like friendship. I never knew he was dealing with kidney failure or none of that. And I wasn't, I wasn't the nicest to him at times. I wasn't necessarily mean to him, but there was times that like he would uh, hit me up, right? To be like, check in on me like, hey, how are you doing? And I wasn't mad about that at all. This is the part where I kind of was, uh, I would be a little mean sometimes because uh, I get hit up on people from people on I get hit up by people from my social media and YouTube all the time who are here, but like, oh my God, I saw you on YouTube and I just wanted to say hi. I thought you were a cool person. And like, I'm always saying hi or stuff, but I'm also like, I'm shy to new people. It takes me a while to, to warm up to people. So when he like would hit me up, I didn't, I didn't take it the wrong way per se. It's just, he would like, he would do it so much. Like, like, let's, let me, for example, like he hit me up, be like, Sorry, my phone uh overheated. But uh because it's sunny out and it's like the sun's right on my phone. I'm gonna try to hear him finish this video real quick so we don't overheat again. But basically what I was saying was at first I was basically I I was a little standoffish towards Malachi in the beginning just because he would he would hit me up, ask me how I'm doing, right? He'd be like, "Hey, friend, how you doing? Hope all is well." I'd be like, "Oh, I'm good. Thank you for checking in. I appreciate that." Yada yada yada. I hope everything is well with you too, and all this stuff. You know, I hope you're good too. You know, and I would like I would like you know appreciate the love genuinely. But then this is where it was like when I was kind of like I started like having to like okay niggas. I would like that's this is when I became standoffish because literally I would do that right, and then literally five minutes later. Hey friend, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good, Malachi. We just talked. Ten minutes later, hey friend, how you doing? You all good? I'm like, Malachi, we just talked. We're I'm good. Like, and he would, I mean, he would literally do that so much. Like he would spam the hell out of my shit every day. And I, like one time, I was like, I'm like Malachi, I had to sit him down. I was like, Malachi, I don't. I'm not trying to sound mean or rude. I, I'm genuinely appreciate you, friend. Thank you for checking in. I appreciate the love, seriously. But I need you to chill out. You literally ask me how I'm doing every five minutes. I'm doing the same way I was five minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm busy working. I'm doing stuff. I'm a grown man. I have, you know, I'm not, can't sit here and talk to you on Instagram all day. It was like, he was like, he just wanted, like, it just, every time I got on Instagram, hey, friend, how you doing? Respond to my story. It was just every, like, literally every 30 seconds, he's messaging me. I'm like, Malachi, what do you want, bro? <laughs> and then eventually I started, like, and I, I and then eventually we kind of, like, I had to restrict his account for a couple like months. There was one period where I restricted it for a couple. He couldn't message me. I wouldn't like no, because like you just gonna have to watch from afar. Like bro, I keep telling you I'm good every two seconds, and then you keep like like and Malachi. If you see this, don't worry. We I'm not trying to be shady, friend. You know I, you know I, you know I got love for you, friend. But um yeah, but then finally I think he like uh like got the message like and he was like he was he was more I guess respectful with it like. And I even had to like sit down and tell him, I was like, Malachi, stop being so nice to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate it, seriously, but you don't know, you don't know me. I know you like see me on YouTube and you, you know, you just want to show love and you like, you uh, respect me as a YouTuber and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you don't know me. I could be a whole serial killer and you're sitting here telling me all your secrets and deepest, darkest, emo you know what I'm saying? You're literally just spilling your guts to me. Like, I could be a serial killer. Like, I could be trying to use this shit you're telling me against you. I was like, Malachi, please stop. You can't, you can't, you can't do that. Like, and I, I, he, he got the message. And then 
now we're like we're cool like now we message and like he know like we we've got a mutual understanding on like our friendship like he know he don't message me too much he, he calmed down a bit and now we're just cool so now i like i would genuinely consider him a friend now like now we're cool we talk and it's like he got he got what i was trying to say but i was like i felt bad because i was like i don't i'm not trying to be mean but like don't like bro you can't just be blowing me up though like you know what i'm saying at the same time but the point i was trying to make with all that let me get back to the point i was trying to make is yes he was blowing me up and yes it was you know annoying me at the time but looking back knowing now what i know now about you know what he's going through in his life and all that stuff is like and he also you know he told me he said he said um i'm sorry like you know i just i be going through stuff and he's just sometimes i just want to like you know check in on people because uh my brother i had a brother who committed suicide and then it's just like i like to make sure people are good and then once i learned that you know what he was going through i was like okay i can i can kind of understand where you're coming from now like as far as wanting to check in on people and stuff but i was like bro but you can't just be like blowing me up every five seconds like i'm appreciative that you genuinely care that i'm like you genuinely care about how i'm doing and you want me to be doing good and like i that that means a lot to me i genuinely appreciate the love like thank you but it's just like i was like bro like come down on. but now though but once again back to what i was like i feel a little bad though because it's like dang okay so the whole time he was going through something and i didn't realize that you saw me as like you know a light like i was literally a light to his day like and that's ba like and that's like it was humbling because it's like like that's crazy like wow like there are really people out there who like go to my youtube videos to watch me to like make their day better and i just want to say one to the people who like genuinely support me and look up to me like that thank you so much one like that means a lot to me that means more than you will ever know like it's very humbling and i just want to say like thank you like i'm just trying to be a good person for y'all you know what i'm saying like i want to be somebody that people can look up to so i'm trying to keep you know i try to keep my heart mind body soul and spirit right to do that so i want to say thank you to to, to those people one and then i also want to say thank you to malachi friend thank you friend you know what i'm saying i'm sorry i was a little mean in the beginning but you you know me and you like this now we me and malachi we cool but i basically just wanted to make this video to say like one shout out malachi for just being like a dope individual and like a strong soldier of god like because y'all really never know what people are going through y'all so just try to be nice and show compassion at all times because you never know what people are going through and it's just like you know that whole time he was going through that and i never knew you know what i'm saying granted i wasn't necessarily being mean to him but i probably looking back i just feel like maybe i could have been just a little bit softer because once i'm like irritated i'm just like okay now I stop like once i got to the point where i was like okay bro you keep blowing me up then i was like but now look back, i was like okay i, I kind of see why he just he he might have been going through something maybe just wanted somebody to talk to and i guess you know he just looked up to me because he knew i guess he like um, uh, a lot of the things that i um I, I think he just liked you know a lot of the things my i my mind set on a lot of things and my ideas and he just liked my wisdom i think he looked to me for wisdom and guidance i really do and and i, I didn't realize that at the time so i'm just taking it as you're being a bugaboo but it's really not that like it's like he's really going through something and needed help you know and so the main point of this story y'all, is really like treat people nicely because you really never know what people are going through like you never know and malachi if you see this i just want to let you know i'm praying for you king i pray god works it all out for you i hope you know i hope you make a full full recovery and i rebuke any illness or sickness that may that may be in your body now king and like i, I pray that the lord removes it all and and you know you you start living the, the healthiest life out there you know uh, i'm still like working on my prayer words but i know for real, like i just want to pray like health. i want to pray health and healing over your life that's what i'll do heavenly father lord i want to send a prayer to malachi right now lord and i pray that you please just bless him and watch over him lord and i pray that you please just take your mighty hand of protection and just cover him lord please cover him lord and keep him safe from anything that wants to harm him any 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 illnesses any anything that is is trying to come into his body to to for the for the negative lord i pray that you please just help him to heal and to get better indefinitely lord in the mighty name of jesus that i pray in the blood of jesus that i pray to jesus christ that i pray but yeah i really wanted to like say that like be grateful 
be grateful one for what you got yes it sucks that you might not have the newest whatever newest jays newest shoes newest car newest whatever or you might not have you know the money to provide from your for your family the way you want to and all this stuff yeah it might suck and i'm not saying that doesn't suck but try to just focus on what you do have and it helps it helps it, it helps ease the pain a little bit it make it helps uh it helps make it feel like a little less crappy that you don't have the stuff if you're not focusing on it if that makes sense don't focus on what you don't have focus on what you do have and how you can maximize it to then get more i don't know if, if you get what i'm saying and then also another thing treat people kindly treat people with kindness respect and compassion because you never know one just the smallest compliment can make somebody's entire day just oh my god you look so beautiful today could make you never know that that person could have like been a victim of a whole childhood of abuse and trauma and in and out of toxic relationship after toxic relationship after toxic relationship and have just always been put down their life and then boom that one compliment from you like you're just so beautiful just made their whole day it, you know like that could literally like bring someone back from the edge like you never know how close people are on the edge because everybody's carrying something heavy you never know how close to the edge people are you know what i'm saying so really watch how you treat people because also something negative you could say could push them over the edge and then boom somebody just killed themselves because of one little thing do you say yeah in the moment it didn't feel like what i said she's ugly or stupid really she killed herself? no there, you never know what people are going through you never know what people are going through like you just never know so it's like really watch how you treat people because that one thing could send somebody over the edge and then it's boom now it's blood on your hands because you wanted to be an a-hole so that was really the point of this story time i just wanted to basically get on here and talk about how that hit me today like because i you know saw i was just on instagram and i just saw malachi posting about how he was going through that and it just made me think like because i've been complaining a lot lately and then i saw that i was like dang i've been complaining so much like i don't have a reason to complain i really don't have a reason complain to complain because like i couldn't walk a mile in malika's shoes i'm not even gonna hold you I, I don't know what i would do if i was in that position i don't know and i just i really thank god you know that i am in the position that i am in now you know even if it's don't feel like it's the best all the time i'm still i'm I would, i'm still like doing good you know i might not be where i want to be but i'm still doing good so that's how i'm just trying to look at it so yeah that's it for this video I'll see you on the next YouTube video. God bless and stay royal and all that good YouTube stuff. Don't forget to treat people nicely. And don't forget to keep gratitude in your heart. Amen. See y'all later. And yeah. Maybe I'll actually call this video Dear Malachi. I don't know. We'll see. But Dear Malachi, love you, friend. When you see this video, you make the other half of the heart. LOL. <laughs> love you, friend. And I hope you're doing good. And I'm always, just now, I'm always sitting in prayer and loving like your way. And I'm always here if you need to talk. Always. Just don't blow me up every five seconds, okay? <laughs> love you, friend. Bye. <laughs>